What is up, YouTube? Hey, listen, today we're going to be doing a little something different. I'm not working on the Mustang today. If you know me and you watch my channel, you know that it is pretty much geared to doing everything on my project Fox Body 86 Mustang back here right behind me. So we're going to break it up a little bit today and I'm going to show you guys some LED bulbs. Now before I show you these things, I do want to make it clear that these were given to me from a company called Bosla. Now companies do reach out to me to try to get me to review some of their products. Most of them, I'll be perfectly honest, I deny unless it has something to do with the Mustang, but a lot of it's kind of gimmicky, junky type stuff that I just don't want to show you and I don't want to put on my Mustang and it's just not for my viewers. So. This came across and I, it really caught my eye because <laughs> it's so different, man. And this is a world's first four in one LED light bulb. World's first four in one headlight bulb. So instead of putting this on my Mustang, we're gonna put my 2016 F-150 XLT back there. Um, as you know, those lights are pretty dull as is, so it's going to be a great upgrade to go ahead and put LEDs in that F-150. But why are these cool? Check this out. Yeah, this is four lights in one, and the colors is is what changes on these things. So it's actually four different colors in one LED, and that is cool because it goes from a bright 6,000K white, your bright white, to a kind of an amber-ish or medium, like a warm, 4300K, um, and then you go to a basically a bright amber. Um, and the reason for this isn't just for, I don't know, for fun, um, it's really for cutting through fog and rain. So you can adjust the color temperature of your light bulbs. How cool is that? It caught my eye. I sent them an email, I said, yeah, sure, I'll do it. If you're gonna send them to me, I'm gonna try it out, why not? So again, the company's called Basla. And this is the light bulb here, you can see it. We're gonna unbox it here in a second. and. Um, take a look at it so apparently you switch you toggle your headlight switch on and off within five seconds to switch through the modes and it's got four different modes again it's got this super bright uh, 6000k it's got a kind of in between so it's got a, probably a warmer almost more of a halogen look to it then it has a pure amber light to it or more of an orange and that really is going to cut through some heavy dense fog and we do have fog and as you see today it's a nice rainy day um, and then you've got a emergency warning flash, so what they say is a 3000K um, flash. So again, you've got your 6500K uh, white, and it looks like you've got a 4300K um, medium, and you've got a 3000K color temperature of the uh, orange, and you've also got a flashing. And that's for emergency, if you're on the road or something like that, um, you can toggle this on and flash your bright amber on the, head the headlights. So again, that's pretty cool. It looks like a pretty well-made product, so let's take a look at it. So as you can see here, the box itself is really cool. It's kind of iPhone-y looking, right? It looks like a quality product. And again, these, these headlights are not cheap. Um, I am going to be giving you guys a code. The company is going to give you a 40% off code just for watching my video. So that's cool, but the box looks really good. Um, opening it up here, you can see that the inside of these guys, uh, the headlight quality looks pretty amazing, doesn't it? Looks pretty good. It looks like it, looks like it has a driver. Um, they're well packaged, and uh, these are a fan design. So I really don't know a whole lot about LED light bulbs, other than they are a hell lot brighter than what's on that F-150. So I'm anxious to get them stuck in and take a look at it. So this is not going to be an install video. It should be pretty easy. Um, look up your Ford manuals, how to install it, and we'll get them in. But man, let me show you my F-150 real quick. If you guys don't know the truck, I might as well show it off a little bit. Show you guys what I've got. Hi guys, this is my daily driver. This is my 2016 F-150 um, XLT 4x4 and not a whole lot to it. It has got the, uh, the tow package on it. Let me back up a little bit here. So it's dirty right now, of course. Um, I've done a few mods to it just because I do love my truck and I've put a little things to it, but you know, just what I can. I've got Fox uh, 2.0 shocks in the back. Uh, the truck does have Fox coilovers on the front there you can see them there so that lifted it about two and a half inches uh, put the bfg tires on it it's got uh two 75 65 tires so they're a little narrow little pizza cutters but uh they look pretty good on the truck we're going to be putting the spacers on it probably doing that this weekend and uh, i'm also going to be lifting the back end about an inch more in the back just to kind of give it a little bit more of a rake on it um i did put the tono cover on it and I've got, you know, things like WeatherTech floor mats, 
not really a whole lot going on here guys just a pretty standard f-150 got weathertech floor mats you know it's got the moon roof in it back here so that's a pretty cool option for an xlt um, someone did take the time to put the leather covers over it so it's got leather interior however the truck did not come with leather so it's got the leather interior in it um, i put the stubby antenna on it over there um, i've done some stuff to it with the uh, four scan tuner and it is an EcoBoost, so I haven't done anything to the motor or anything like that yet. But um, the front end is something that I've always kind of wanted to increase the light output on for sure. And uh, would definitely like to put something like LEDs, um, you know, the factory style LEDs on it. But dude, I'm not dropping 1,700 bucks on the uh, factory Lariat style LED lights or the Anzos. I think the Anzos are cool. They just look a little bit, um, I don't know, they look, look a little bit aftermarket. So. I like to look at the headlights on it. Don't want to go too far with it. I just want to increase the headlights. So let's do that. Okay, so if you look at these headlights here, let's take them out real quick. Okay, so again, the headlights are, are really nice. Um, I think they're pretty nice. They do have a, the fan on them to keep them cool. And they have this nice little glass cover on it to keep it protected during shipping, which I think is a nice little touch. And um, you can see it's got a, a proprietary style plug on it here. So what happens is you plug the light into this part here. Yep. And then it's got a, basically a, a lock on it. You'll screw that down, screw it down tight. And this is the section here that goes into the um, your headlight harness. So this is what actually plugs into the headlight harness. And this is your LED driver here. So again, guys, I mean, you can tell this is a quality made part, but um, yeah there it is so we'll have to get these guys installed yeah let's do it okay as you guys know to get these headlights out it's kind of a pain in the butt uh, if you looked it up online there's actually quite a bit of screws removed you got to remove a lot of plastic um, you have to move this front plastic piece here and you have to remove the uh, the guards here and your, fin your fender guards whatever you call them here and they got to move this out and then you got to get all the way to the screws plus so we don't have to do that to change the lights according to the ford manual there are some screws that just removes it just what you want to do is pull back your fender liner here so there's a screw there and here and there should be one up top but nonetheless we're going to remove this guy and this guy just to be able to peel back the liner enough to stick our hand up there pop the bulb out Okay, what I'm going to do is first plug these in to make sure it works. Of course, before I stick my hand in there and just put these into the headlight housing, so these are polarity sensitive. Now, however, this little plug is key, and there's a little notch right there, so you want to make sure you line that up. Okay, once that's pushed all the way in, we'll tighten it up. Yeah, just like that. Okay, so now we have the bulb and the driver. I'm gonna leave the glass on it for now, plug this into the original harness, make sure that it works. Hey, that's a good sign. That's freaking bright. Okay, I've toggled the switch, so that is very bright. That is the uh, medium color right there. Let's toggle it, toggle it one more time, see if we can get the uh, amber. God almighty. Okay, there's your 3800. Okay. It's bright. And last, we toggle it again. Should give us a nice blink. God. Okay. I'm gonna put these in before I blind myself. Okay, the passenger side is in, so let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. Okay, that is pretty bright, man. That is a major, major difference. Yeah, I like it. Cool.
Okay, here up against the garage, you can really see a noticeable difference there on how bright it is, and definitely in the color difference. So that looks really good. So this is your 6500K. And here you've got your 4300K. Now you have your 3000K fog lights. Then you have your 3000K emergency lights. Okay, now with the lights on on both sides, you can definitely see the nice flat spread and uh, I think it looks pretty good, so we're gonna go for a drive. All right, man, hopefully you can see this okay. Sitting in the cab, just wanna show you guys the light output that we've got out here on my garage. Um, I also wanna show you the toggling here. So right now this is on the, uh, the bright white if we toggle off the back on, so there is your mix. That's got a nice kind of amber look and looks really, really similar in my opinion to a halogen. And then when you're driving through fog or rain, flip them on, you've got a super bright orange. Uh, that is pretty cool. I do need to adjust these headlights a little bit. You can see this one's down and that one's up a little bit. So we'll have to play with the adjustments on these. And then we got the uh, super bright flashing and my entire garage and neighborhood is flashing orange. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, Connor, you ready for this? Yeah, first go, watch watch the headlights. Okay, you ready? Uh, it would help if I try to keep That's gonna look awesome. Okay, so check this out, bud. Huh? Bright white. Yeah, it looks different. All right, hold on. Yeah. Okay, now check this out. Watch the lights, okay? You watching? Yeah. How do you do that? Okay. Different color. Now watch this. How do you do that? Magic. Magic headlights. How do you do that? Tell me how do that. Oh, yeah? What? Can I only do yellow? Can I do like blue? No. Boop. Boop. All right. No, I put on yellow. Cool. Let's go for a drive and see how much better these things are. All right, man. We are driving. And if you know how these stock F-150 halogens are, they are terrible. Very yellow and just flat out and not bright enough. In fact, it's almost embarrassing for Ford to release their standard trucks or something like this, you know, but um, these headlights look pretty good. I say they're really good. These are amazingly brighter. Okay, so we're going out a really dark road. You can definitely see the lights reflecting off the, uh, the signs ahead of me. I don't think these cameras do a very good job in comparison. But looks pretty cool. So uh, let's get up here and toggle on the 4500K light. I'm gonna change the color when we get to the stop sign up here. Yeah, these look awesome, man. The standard color looks really good. Okay, so this is the 4500K. Yellowish. Yellowish, yep. They have a yellowish tint to them. Wow, that's amazing. This camera does not do justice. This really cuts through the dark and it looks really good. I can see all kinds of stuff all over this road. To me, it looks like a, um, a very bright halogen. Yeah, oh my gosh, I can get used to this. I can almost drive like this all the time. I know on the camera, you guys are seeing more of a uh, a split I can see on the camera just viewfinder here that you can see almost a split color you can almost see it mix and that's what the LEDs are doing you've got one side that's bright amber one side that's bright white and they blend together to make this color show them um 2k <laughs> 2k bud <laughs> you're it's all right buddy all right this looks good when we get up to this light let's go ahead and switch it to the full amber 
and um, too bad it's not really foggy we can't test these out to their full extent but let's get up here and change these out to amber anyways Uno. Uno. Uno Connor Uno all right so we're gonna switch off back on all right oh my gosh I guarantee you all these uh, people are thinking what the dude driving around with amber lights, what's wrong with him? Now the coolest thing about this is how absolutely like beneficial these would be in the rain and fog. And that's what these are built for. They're not built just for cool looks. It's actually built to cut through fog, cut through heavy fog and cut through rain. Helps you see the rain and stuff, so. That's cool, nobody's flashing me. I think I got my lights definitely low enough. While we're on this dark road, let me toggle back to uh, standard bright white. Alright, we got flashing orange, and I guarantee you I'm freaking out the people in front of me. <laughs> Alright, and then back to bright white. 6500K, Connor. So that is cool. On this dark road, you can really see how bright these things are. In fact, if I put my brights on can't even see the brights just because the brights turn on the lower halogens and these are overpowering the brights on my truck so these are so much brighter than stock and this makes driving my truck at night actually enjoyable again because I can see the road all right I'm gonna go ahead and toggle one more time back to the uh, 4500 K yeah, like and I like these for some reason gives it a nice warm look but doesn't overpower with white. Really stock look, just a heck of a lot brighter. That's pretty cool, Connor, what do you think, dude? You like that? Yeah. You like how you could switch the colors like that on the fly? Yeah. Just driving? I didn't think I liked that. It's pretty weird having the like option to switch your headlight color temperature. But what button switches the headlights? You just turn them off and turn them back on again. But, but what button does it? The headlight switch. Mm. Like you turn the headlight switch off and you turn it back on within five seconds, it switches color. And then if you turn it off for like, I think, I don't know, 10 seconds or something like that, it goes back to normal resets or something. You just flip through them. It would be kind of nice to go back to 6500K without flashing amber emergency lights at people. <laughs> But it is, it's really cool. No, it's not. It's not crazy. Do your signature Uno so we can go get dinner. You crazy little kid. All right. Okay, so that is the Basla world's first switchable color temperature headlight LED bulb. And um, I think it's pretty cool. In fact, let's look at some uh, night video of it here. You can see it driving at night. And here it is with the 6500K driving down the road. And then here we are, kind of see what it looks like driving with the 4300 in the middle K. And then you can kind of see here what it's like driving in a 3000K amber and then flashing at the end. So. And that is it. So check it out. I've got a 40% off code. You can go to Bosla.com. I'm going to post a link in the description if you guys want to purchase these. You can. I think they're pretty cool for my F-150. I've actually gone to like it now. I've had them on the truck for a good month. Actually, I've recorded this video quite a while back ago. And um, I've really grown to like the headlights. I keep it on 6,000. It defaults to 6,000. If you just use your headlights like normal, it's always going to turn on at 6,500K unless you want to turn the temperature down, that's when you can toggle switch on and off. So I think that's really awesome that every time the truck's on, it is at 6,500. So that's cool, that's what I like. Um, and if it's raining and foggy, which it has been, and I have used them in the fog, and I have used them in the rain, and it does help, believe it or not. I'm not one to go out and buy amber fog lights, but with the ability to switch them gives you the option, so you don't have to look like a guy driving on amber lights, and you can use them when you need them. So I think that's pretty rad. So guys, check this out, and here is the code right now. Boop. That's the 40% uh, off. So use that code 
and uh, go to Basel.com, order them. You can also get them on Amazon, but you will get the 40% off. So go ahead and go to Basel.com and get the code below here and get yourself a 40% discount for these if you want them. Um, otherwise, we'll see you guys next time. Hey, this is this is a turbo. I told you it was coming. There's turbo crap all around me. There's so much videos to come. I got a lot of editing to do, a lot of recording to do, and a lot of work to do the Mustang. So stay tuned. We got it all coming here on the channel, and it's going to get exciting. See you guys next time.